In today's video, I am going to explain the most important problem from functions of a complex variables. So here, if f of z is a regular function of z, we have to prove that dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square into modulus of f of z whole square is equal to 4 times of modulus of f dash of z whole square or it can be asked like this del square of modulus of f of z whole square is equal to 4 times of modulus of f dash of z square so so this is the question and we have to prove this so for that let f of z is equal to see here f of z is equal to this is u plus iv u plus iv is a regular function see here so what is it what f of z is a regular function so this is the regular function I have taken and now modulus of f of z is nothing but modulus is nothing but root over so this is root over u square plus this is v square and this I am considering as phi so phi is equal to see after that we have to square on both sides if I square on both sides then see here modulus of modulus of f of z whole square is nothing but u square plus v square so u square plus v square now i am considering phi as u square plus v square so this value is nothing but u square plus v square now i'll differentiate with respect to x for one time and y for one time so do phi by do x value it is so simple for you it is 2u into this is do u by do x clear and for v it is 2v and it is do v by this is do x and if i make a derivative with respect to see here if i make a derivative with respect to y this time then do phi by so do phi by do y is equal to for u square this is 2u and this is do u by do y and v square this is 2v and again this is uh, do v by do y so again if I make a double derivative with respect to x similarly see here and if I make a derivative with respect to this uh, x so this will be dou square phi by this is dou x square is equal to if I take two common here for u see here for u if I leave u and if I make a derivative for this this will be dou square u by this is dou x square and here if i make a derivative with respect to u so this will be dou u by dou x and already there is dou u by dou x so this is whole square plus i send this two outside so for v i am leaving here so for this this is dou square v by this is dou x square plus for v this is dou v by dou x and again there is dou v by dou x and i am writing this as dou v by dou x whole square clear see here this is uv rule i left u here and i made derivative for this and again i left dou u by dou x and i made derivative that is dou u by dou x and there is again dou u by dou x that is dou u by dou x square and he again v i left i made a derivative with respect to x that is dou square v by dou x square this time i left dou v by dou x and made derivative for v that is dou v by dou x there are two dou v by dou x's therefore dou v by dou x whole square and similarly if i make a derivative again double derivative for this equation for twice for twice then dou square by see here dou square by dou y square dou square by dou y square is equal to from this if i take two common and i leave u so if i make a derivative with respect to y this will be dou square u by dou y square if i leave this dou u by dou y and made a derivative for u with respect to y then this will be dou u by dou y and again there is dou u by dou y here so this will be square plus if i leave v for one time and make derivative with respect to y that is dou square v by dou y square and if i leave dou v by dou y and make derivative with respect to y this is dou v by dou y and again dou v by dou y this will be dou v by dou y whole square got it so now if i add these two equations see here so if i add up these two equations see clearly 
so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 if I make a addition so this will be do square do square 5 by 2 x square and this is do square 5 by 2 y square is equal to if I take 2 common here if I take 2 common and see u I, if I take common then see this will be do square so this is u do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square and again so if I add these two equations so here also if I take v common then this will be do square v by do x square plus do square v by do y square and again I have to add these two equations so here also so this will be do u by do x whole square plus this is do u by do y whole square here also do v by do x whole square plus do v by do y whole square see here it is very clear the first derivative here for this is 2u into do u by do x if this is 2v into do, u, do v by do x with respect to y 2u into do u by do y and 2v into do v by do x if i make a double derivative and add up these two equations see here this is like this and since see here since u and v have to satisfy cr equations so u comma v so this is u comma v satisfies cr equations which equations cr equations and laplace equations so what are the cr equations so cr equations is nothing but ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to this is minus vx so if i write clearly properly then this will be do u by do x is equal to so this will be do u by do x is equal to do u by do x is equal to do v by do y and next do u by do y is equal to minus do v by do x so these are cr equations and again we have if i square on both sides then do u by do x whole square is equal to this is do v by do y whole square and again do u by do y whole square is equal to this is minus do v by do x whole square and again the laplace equations are so we have the laplace equations so u v u comma v satisfies satisfies laplace equations so what are those laplace equations laplace equations are nothing but double derivative do square u by this is do x square plus do square u by do y square is equal to 0 and this is do square v by do x square plus do square v by do y square is equal to 0. So u v satisfies all these equations if I substitute here in this. So this is a Laplace equation and this is again a Laplace equation. So this will be 0 and this will be 0. See here our equation. So this is our equation. So this equation is nothing but do square 5 by this is do x square and this is do square 5 by this is do y square is equal to 2 times of u. What is this Laplace equation? Do square u by do x square plus do square u by do y square value is equal to 0. I am writing this as 0 and here v times of do square v by do x square plus do square v by do y square value is again 0 as it is a Laplace equation. And the next thing what remains here? So see here. So here do u by do x whole square plus in place of do u by do y so what is do u by do y whole square i can write this as minus do v by do x whole square got it and again this thing is do v by do x whole square and in place of do v by do y so what is do v by do y this is do v by do y whole square in place of this i am writing as do u by do x whole square See, I have substituted these two Laplace equations as 0 and again I have, I have interchanged, uh, I substituted the CR equations. So I have transformed in terms of x. See here in the denominator everything is x. So this is nothing but do square 5 by do x square plus do square 5 by do y square 
is equal to this is two times of so this value is nothing but so this value is nothing but do u by do x whole square plus this is again do v by do x whole square this is also do v by do x whole square and this is do u by do x whole square whole square so they therefore do square phi by do x square plus this is do square phi by do y square is equal to two times of so here if you observe do u by do x and this is do u by do x and here this is dou v by dou x and here this is dou v by dou x for 2, 2 times they are. So, this is 2 times of, see here, this is 2 times of dou u by dou x whole square and this is 2 times of, this is dou v by dou x whole square. And see here, if I take 2 common, this will be 4 times of, this is u x square and this is uh, v x square. So, we have ux plus vx. See, I show you phi is equal to. So, or f um, modulus of, uh, see here, modulus of f dash. So, since we have modulus of f of dash square is equal to, this is u square plus v square. So, this is modulus of f of z whole square is equal to u square plus v square. So, if I make a derivative with respect to x, so this is f dash of z whole square is equal to ux square plus vx square. So, in this equation, if I substitute the same thing, so this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So, 2 in 1, if I substitute, then this will be dou square phi by dou x square. So, this is dou square phi by dou x square plus dou square phi by dou y square is equal to 4 times of. In place of this, I am writing as modulus of f dash of z whole square. So, here dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square into what is phi here? Phi, I will show you, that is modulus of f dash of z whole square. So, what is our phi? Phi is nothing but u square plus v square. Where u square plus v square is modulus of f of z whole square. So, that is what I am writing here. So, dou square by dou x square plus dou square by dou y square into modulus of. This is f of uh, z whole square is equal to 4 times of modulus of f of z whole square. Since, see I will show you how I got this. So, I took phi as u square plus v square. See here, since phi is equal to this is u square plus v square. And again, modulus of f of z square is nothing but since uh, modulus of since modulus of f of z whole square is nothing but u square plus v square. I substituted the same thing here and I, I got the final answer. See, let me explain you once again. It is so simple. So, first of all, we have to show this. So, before showing this, I have, have to consider a regular function. So, what is this regular function? So, if f of z is a regular function, the f of z regular function is nothing but u plus iv. So, if I take modulus, then this will be root over u square plus v square. If I square on both sides, then modulus of f of z whole square is equal to u square plus v square. I consider this function as phi. So, I made a derivative with respect to x for one time, with respect to y for one time. I double derivative, double derived phi with respect to x, with respect to y. And if I add these two equations, see, if I add these two equations, and this is the equation I got. Since u and v satisfies the CR equations at Laplace equations, what are those CR equations? So, ux is equal to vy and uy is equal to minus vx. So, if I square on both sides and keep it aside, and here u and v should satisfy the Laplace equations. These two are the Laplace equations. And if I substitute, so these two are the Laplace equations. This is 0, u into 0. So, this is u into 0. And this is again a Laplace equation which is equal to 0, v into 0. And here dou u by dou x whole square. I wrote the same thing here, dou u by dou x whole square. And in terms of y, I changed it into in terms of x. What is dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x whole square. So, this is dou v by dou x whole square. 
minus dou v by dou x whole square and the next term this is x term so i left like this dou v by dou x whole square i i wrote like this and this is again dou v by dou y i have to change it in terms of x what is dou v by dou y dou v by dou y i wrote as dou u by dou x whole square so there are two terms of uh, dou u by dou x and two terms of dou v by dou x so i added up all these i have sent four to other side so this is ux square and this is u y square so as you know that modulus of uh, see here modulus of f of z whole square is nothing but u square plus v square so if i make a derivative with respect to x this will be ux square plus vx square i substituted this as modulus of f dash of f dash of z whole square and after that phi so what is phi phi is equal to u square plus v square and phi is nothing but modulus of f of z whole square is nothing but u square plus v square so in place of phi i wrote modulus of f of z whole square is equal to four times of modulus of f dash of z whole square so this is what it is asked to show that and this is so simple if you follow these simple simple steps so we have to make a derivative with respect to x for one time y for one time and we, again we have to make a double derivative with respect to x and y we have to add up those two equations and we have to apply the laplace equations and gr equations and we'll be getting the final answer thank you so much for watching and staying till the end please have a look at my next video too and um, your preparation will be very simple if you follow these videos and please pass it on to your friends